Good morning, Warriors. Today is Friday, April 23rd. Welcome back to another WBN broadcast. Here are your morning announcements. Happy birthday from the English department. Whose birthday? Forsooth. It is the birthday of the writer William Shakespeare. Herc Jones will be here Tuesday the 27th and Wednesday the 28th for a cap and gown pickup. If you've not yet ordered, they will be here from 3.30 to 7 those days if you need to place your order. The wrestling team will hold open mat workouts beginning on April 26th from 3.30 to 5. Please contact Coach Kling and Peel with any questions. New wrestlers or anyone who wants to try the sport are encouraged to join. Don't forget to go to Canvas and sign up to attend next Tuesday's Poetry Jam during AEP. All you need to do is join the Library Canvas course by clicking the bit.ly link bit.ly slash virtual Matoka library. After joining the library course, you will have access to the special events link, which will take you to the Google Meet for the jam. Five warriors have signed up to present their own poetry, but they need you to be there too. Please come and support. If you are wearing anything blue in support of Autism Week, please fill out the form bit.ly slash autism week. Today's contest winner will be announced on Monday. Attention juniors and seniors. Interested in attending prom on May 22nd? You need to show interest using the form shared by Ms. Baber on her community message email by April 30th. More information is to follow. Hey students, vote for faculty king and queen for homecoming week. Use the link bit.ly slash hoco faculty 21. I have so many old shoes taking up space in my house and I have no idea what to do with them. Me either. I had some, I heard about DECA having a shoe drive this year. Good thing Carmen, Kendall Birmingham, and Kendall Dudley made a video with all the information we need. Matoka High School's DECA is hosting a shoe drive. Drop your gently worn shoes in the front office starting April 26th and ending May 7th. The shoes collected go beyond raising funds for the organization. They are given a second life with those in need. The gently worn, used, and new shoes should be in good condition with the soles intact, dry, clean, no holes, and still have life in them. If you wouldn't give them to a friend, then they are not worthy to submit. If you have any questions or are unsure about the quality of your shoes, please contact Kristen underscore Hingy at ccpsnet.net. Today is the final day of Autism Awareness Spirit Week. Everyone looks so good in all the different themes. I love the song, This Is Me. It's so inspirational. <laughs> I agree. I know our Best Buy members like it too. <laughs> to finish out our amazing autism awareness week, <laughs> the Best Buy Club <laughs> made an incredible music video to go along with the song directed by your own very WBN team. a stranger to the dark hide away they say because we don't want your broken parts i've learned to be ashamed of all my scars run away they say no one will love you as you are but I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there's a place for us. For we are glorious. When the sharpest words want to cut me down. I'm going to send a blood, going to drown them out. I am brave. I am bruised. I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out. Cause here I come And I'm marching on to the beat I drum I'm not scared to be seen I make no apologies This is me
gonna send a bug, gonna drown a This is brave, this is bruised, this is who I've been to be. This, this is, is me. me. <laughs> This is me. This year has been so hectic and unpredictable. I mean, who would have thought that our homecoming week would be in April? Or that we would even get one? To share more information about homecoming, Nick and William made this video. What's up, Matoka Warriors? This year we'll be hosting a homecoming week, April 26th through the 30th. And our theme will be two tickets to paradise, meaning that people who have been in quarantine will finally get to travel. Students will decorate the hallways between the windows of the science room in their respective pods. This will take place after school throughout the week and students can check with class officer for more details. Ninth grade's theme is New York City, 10th grade's theme is Cairo, Egypt, 11th grade's theme is Tokyo, Japan, and 12th grade's theme is New Orleans, Louisiana. During homecoming week, we will have spirit days, which will go as followed. Monday will be USA Day, Tuesday will be Tacky Tourist Day, Wednesday will be Decades, Thursday will be Luau, and Friday will be Class Colors. All students, virtual and face-to-face, -face, are encouraged to participate. There will be a prize drawing each day for this week. To wrap up the whole week, our homecoming game will be Varsity Girls Soccer Game on Thursday, April 29th. However, there is no word yet on possible student attendance. Have, Have fun, Warriors! I'm so glad it's finally spring. All this nice weather is perfect for exercising. Yeah, I definitely need to start getting in shape for the beach this summer. Me too. Kendall D, Carmen, and Emma Kate made a video sharing some fun workouts for anyone who doesn't know the best way to exercise. Hey guys, it's Carmen. And it's Kendall, and we're here today to show you different exercises for spring. The first way to exercise outside is by working out outside. You can sit-ups, push-ups, or yoga. Another way to exercise is to walk with friends. This helps time go by fast. Another form of exercise is taking your dog for a walk. This is a great thing to do during the spring because the weather is usually very nice. The last way to exercise is by biking. This is a great leg workout. Thanks for watching our video. Now back to the anchors. We have so many incredible small businesses in our community. One of them is Buttermilk Bakery in Petersburg. Kendall Birmingham made a video about all their tasty treats and job opportunities. We opened in November of 2014. We opened three days before Thanksgiving, which was kind of crazy, but it was really good. Um, and then we decided to open in Petersburg in this area because we saw a need in the community. There were no other bakeries in the area, and we thought we could have a lot of, a lot of desserts here. We sell cookies, cupcakes, cakes, pies, donuts, um, we also sell cheesecakes, I think that might be everything, um, we also sell some vegan items, some gluten-free items, um, yeah, so a lot of different things. A few vegan items, on Fridays and Saturdays we do vegan donuts after 9.30 in the morning, those are really good. We also have vegan cookies and cupcakes every day in a bunch of different flavors. The cupcakes, we rotate the flavors around, um, kind of like a decorator's choice. 
And then the cookies, we typically have chocolate chip, uh, oatmeal craisin, um, peanut butter, and then sometimes we'll have a sugar cookie or something like that. Um, we are looking for some help in the retail staff, the people that work at the front counter, talk to customers and get them their stuff that they need and bring them up. So yeah, we are looking. <laughs> Make sure you go out and support small businesses. To go along with Autism Awareness Month, a few of our Matoka students participated in a 5K to spread awareness and raise money for the Special Olympics. So let's check out the video Madison and Jenna made showing off the event. Hey guys, so today we're doing a 5K trail run for the Special Olympics in Fular. This is going to be a 3.1 mile run around the Appomattox River and the race is going to be done with tracking chips. So they're going to be basically tied to our number tags, which will be down here, and to our shoes. So the fundings for this race go 50% to FOLAR, which is Friends of the Lower Appomattox River, and the other 50% goes to the Special Olympics. FOLAR works with landowners and different organizations with property to offer nature trails and educational areas to the local public to enjoy and access wildlife and nature. The Special Olympics is for people with intellectual disabilities on the adult level, and the fundraiser assists with medical assistance, counseling, and sports, and it helps them feel more included so that they can enjoy the same opportunities and activities as non-disabled adults and stay active. All right, guys, so we just got done with the race. Um, 150 people ended up showing up. I hope this raised some more awareness for the Special Olympics organizations and FOLAR. See you next time. Bye. Bye. It's so good to see our peers out in the community supporting a good cause. Our spring sports season is underway. We started off the season by interviewing members and coaches of all the different sports teams to get their preseason's predictions and thoughts. All right, so I'm here with Coach Moore, and we're going to talk about our baseball predictions. How do you think we're going to do this this year? Hey guys, this is Coach Stutz. Coach Stutz, what are your predictions on the season? Well, I'm hoping one prediction is that we actually have a good season. That would be Appreciate nice. Um, but I think we're going to surprise some people, as Coach Moore would say. Um, but I think we're going to have a pretty decent season. We've got to make the routine plays, and um, I think we'll be all right. Hopefully, have some quality pitching. And um, hopefully, Mitchell, who's filming this, can actually throw the ground ball. We'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Warriors, Warrior Nation. Um, looking forward to a great soccer season this year for my girls. Um, have a lot of great senior leadership uh, with Shea Saunders, Jericho Rulo, Chloe Martin, uh, Allison Crowley. Uh, really looking forward to a great season. Got a pretty good goalkeeper in the net as well. Shout out, Olivia. Okay. I'm expecting all shutouts this year. All right. No pressure. But uh, please come out and support us. Um, home games are posted on the website. Um, all of our games are Tuesdays and Thursdays, either at 5.30 or at 7. We also have a JV program this year, which I'm very excited about. Um, so when we play at home, the JV will play at 5.30, we'll play at 7. So come check us out. Go Warriors. My name is Chloe Martin. I've been playing with Matoga High School girls for a year and a half, and I think we have a pretty good chance this year. I'm here with... Connor and Adam. And what's you guys' prediction for this soccer season? Uh, hopefully, zero losses. Yeah, we're going to take no. No questions asked, period. Love Exclamation that. mark. Love that voice. I'm here with Max and Bren. And what are you guys' predictions for this soccer season? Um, should be pretty good. I'm expecting good things from everybody. <laughs> what are you thinking? Uh, I think we got we got some good players. Got a lot of seniors. Uh, really excited. I think we're gonna go at least eight and two this year, if not undefeated. That's what we love to hear, boys. Hi, I'm Cameron Hen. I think that we are going to win eight out of twelve games. Hi, my name is Devin, and I think that we're going to have a pretty good season because we have a really young team this year, and I'm excited to see what they can do. My name is Katie, and I think we're going to do really good this season. We have some new players, so I'm excited to see what they can do. Um, we have our first game on the 27th against Colonial Heights. Our Matoka athletes are going to have a great season this year. 
Well, that's all we have for you this week, Warriors. Make sure to tune in, tune in again next week for another great show. After the broadcast, homeroom teachers, please display the great appropriate bit.ly to vote for homecoming king, queen, and court. Stay connected on Instagram at Matoka WBN. On Twitter at Matoka WBN. You can watch all of our videos on the Warrior Broadcast News YouTube channel. And if you would like to get into contact with us, you can send us an email to submitwbn at gmail.com. If you think you have a cool idea for the show, submit at bit.ly slash WBN sign up. Have a wonderful weekend, Warriors.